Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango November here from Survival Tech Nord. Today we're going to get back to Android. I'll just turn that radio down. We're going to get back to uh, our Android roots and uh, show you a bench test using the FT817ND uh, and the Samsung Galaxy Tab Active. Now the Samsung Galaxy Tab Active is a rugged tablet that I'm using for my MAM portable operations. Uh, this bench test is specifically going to focus on the repeater book with the Blue Cat uh, FTCAT control interface and uh, the Samsung Galaxy Tab Active. So stick with me and let's get started. I wouldn't like to do a lot of talking in this video, but I will narrate a bit as we go along. First of all, we're going to start up the GPS. And the GPS is used by the repeater book app to figure out where you are. You can do that manually as well. I'm just going to check here to make sure the blue cat is already paired to this tablet and connected to my FT817. Now I'll go ahead and start up the repeater book app. At the bottom of the screen, you can see Blue Cat is connected and auto location is selected, so it's using the GPS. Once it acquires your position through the GPS, it's going to display a list of repeaters uh, that are near you. And you can define the distance or the range of the repeaters uh, uh, from your current location. I've set mine at, I think, uh, 300 kilometers. Now the obvious part of this functionality is that you're given a list of uh, repeaters within the range you've specified. The not so obvious part of the functionality is that you can search uh, for a place that you haven't actually been yet. Let's say, for example, you're going to visit Portland. Yeah? You can enter Portland as a search criteria and you'll be given a list of uh, all of the repeaters in uh, the different Portlands around the world. This functionality turns repeater book into a planning tool, especially for emergency communications or emergency deployments, and you need to use amateur radio repeaters uh, in the location where you are. It's actually quite nifty. Now, one of the features I really enjoy is having the ability to uh, select one of the repeaters from the search and having its information displayed to me, uh, even though it's not in range of uh, my location. So although I'm playing around with this as a research tool, if you select any of the repeaters within your list of uh, in-range repeaters, uh, those repeaters or the settings for those repeaters will automatically be uploaded to your FT817 or other compatible radio uh, so that you don't have to make those settings manually. Actually, that's the other beauty of this app. I'm almost certain someone's going to ask me if it's possible to use this with some other Bluetooth interface. And although I haven't tested it, I believe it is because the Blue Cat itself is just a fast Bluetooth Cat interface. The Blue Cat also works with the 817 Companion and RXTX Pocket. Uh, those are cat control programs for the FT817. Alright, guys. I'll leave you with a few related videos and playlists, and as usual, if you think I deserve it, please give me a thumbs up, uh, tell me what you think about this app or how I'm doing in the comments, and uh, we'll see you in the next Android-related video, probably later today. Alright, thanks for watching. 73. Ciao.